Hello everyone, this is Owen with Shift Click Learn. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I modified my super cute hippo that I drew last week by making it half cyborg on one side and then half cute. So, let's get right into it. Alrighty, so here is a half cute and half cyborg hippo as you can see I tried to make this eye look cool And then I also tried to make it look like it's metal with all the screws and all that and I think it turned out pretty Awesome looking you can see like metal stripes here. It has a metal nose and ear it has some spikes on the head it has nice shading and I think it turned out really cool so the first thing i'm going to do is actually import my original hippo of course if you want to see how i drew the original hippo without all the cyborg stuff i will put a link in the description to that video so i'm just going to import it in real quick right here like that and what i'm actually going to do is ungroup this and delete this one and actually use this one so this is actually our our one that we drew last week so there we go we have a nice little guy here so what I want to do first is kind of start making the metal shape on this guy's head. So I want to actually draw a line right somewhere around in the middle and like get around these major pieces of his face. I'll curve in like this and I'm just going to try to get this to look decently smooth. It's going to curve in like this and then it's actually just going to go up like so. So now what I want to do is just go all the way back and make sure you do on the outside so that way we can clip it in a second. And I'm just going to go to fill and stroke by holding control, shift, and F. I'm going to click on the fill here and I'll make this a dark gray color like that. And then what I want to do is actually click on the stroke and make it one. One looks good and then I will actually make it a darker gray color like that. So right now this doesn't look very good. I mean, I'll page down it, but it just doesn't look very good. So what I want to do is actually click on the head and hold control D. So as you can see that copied the actual head. I want to X out the fill, shift click on the head and go object clip and set. And now as you can see, we have it perfectly clipped to this so now we start to get the little bit of the uh, metal chunk which is just what i want okay so probably the next thing i want to do is add the cool cyborg eye so this is a little bit complicated but i think I, i'll be able to explain it so i want to actually just delete this eyeball and i'll pull in a circle like this and i don't want to stroke on that but i do want to fill and it is a actually a light gray color like that and it's a teeny bit smaller than the eye but there you go now what i want to do is actually hold Control d and hold Control shift and then size it down so it stays perfectly in the middle and what i want to do is click on the blue color right here click on stroke and find a nice stroke color maybe not one how about three three looks good and i want to make this stroke actually another shade of blue and this will kind of just give it some depth so I want to size that down a bit, and there you go, we kind of have a different shape. Next, what I want to do is actually draw another circle in the middle here. I want It doesn't have a stroke, in it, but it does have a nice dark blue color for the fill, as you can see here. And I will size that up and put it right smack dab in the middle. And what I want to actually do is make a kind of diamond shape rough and just by clicking like that and then i will get the fill right like that and then what i did is came back and actually smoothed these off by holding control and clicking on them as you can see that already looks pretty awesome then i'll just size it down and it doesn't matter if it overlaps that kind of looks cool so that don't worry about getting it perfectly in the circle but i also wanted to make it look a little bit more mean so what i'm going to do is first of all add a shading into it just so it looks a little bit more realistic so i'll add a circle right there and it is a light very light blue like this and it's going to actually be behind that but it's going to be object object a path and then what I want to do is actually like adjust these nodes and make it to where it kind of curves around it a little bit like so. And I don't want these to be so tight, so I'll stretch these out a bit. But you can see that really creates a cool effect to it and it looks really, really awesome. 
And once you are happy with that, this does not look very mean right now. It kind of looks, it looks cool, but it doesn't look too menacing. So I actually want to change it up a little bit. So what I want to do is add a square on the top here like that. And as you can see, that already makes it look meaner, but I don't really like that square there. So what I want to actually do is hold control D, shift click on the gray so circle and go path difference. And now as you can see, it cut off that top there. And I want to actually shift click circle and go path difference. And as you can see now, it already looks better. And then what I, what I can do is go into the nodes here and just kind of adjust these a little bit and try to make it look a bit better and that already looks better oh yeah look at that cyborg hippo warrior so that's starting to look good okay so now that we have the eye in place i want to try and shift click all of this right click and click group and that will let us kind of move it around and maybe even i'll size it up a bit and try to get this level with the other eyeball so that looks pretty awesome next what i want to do is kind of redo the nose and make it look metal so i'll actually just kind of look at the other one and see okay so it's a diamond shape so that's what i'm going to do right here so i'm going to click here click here here and here and that was a little bit crazy but that's okay we can kind of adjust this so i'm going to change the fill to a dark color and i want this to have a stroke around one maybe yeah one looks good and the stroke is not actually going to be black it is going to be a darker gray color not that color this color right here so as you can see that already looks better but it's pretty small so i want to size it up and maybe even rotate this to the left and try to line it up with that other nose then i can delete that nose and adjust this one to make it look cool maybe even i'll drag these out and ooh, that looks better okay that looks better voila we have the cyborg nose next what i want to do is make the cyborg ear here that's what it's called and so i'm going to make it make sure it's not smooth i want this to be very rugged so i'll draw like that draw like this and then like this and then what i'm going to do is make sure this has a fill i'm actually going to change this fill to the same color as the metal and this stroke will be like one maybe 2.2 okay so now what i want to do now that we have this is put it over here and actually what i want to do is page down and i want to delete this old hippo ear goodbye old hippo ear you are now a robot hippo ear. Also, what I want to do is hold control D, hold shift control, and size this down, and then move it down, and then do page down like this. And as you can see, that creates a cool ear. But what I also want to do is make this ear a dark gray color, and then the stroke actually is going to be a lighter but still dark color like that. So as you can see now, this is starting to look fantastic which is awesome because i want it to look good after a little bit of adjusting this is starting to look good so now we have a cyborg hippo ear on top of having the cyborg eye and nose so let's start to actually get into some shading so as you can see here we actually have a nice patch of shine on the top of its beanie so this is what i'm going to do is just kind of get a curve color try to not a color curve shape and try to match that curve like that and just imitate that and then i'll come down like this and then i want to make a sharp angle like so then what i want to do is x out the stroke and make a fill and then it's going to be a really light gray color this will kind of make it look like it's actually a light shining on it so it makes it look metallic and that's just what i want once again after a little bit of adjusting it's starting to look good cool so now what i want to do is make the make the lines right here because that's really adds detail to it and it's all about detail because details what makes it look like a good drawing so i'm going to draw a squiggle line like this squiggle 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 and I want to go over to here and redraw that squiggle, but actually with a with the other side. So it's a little bit thicker. So I want to actually also make this a nice, really, just a teeny bit darker shade of gray. That way it shows up, but it's not too obtrusive. 
then I want to hold control D over this X out the fill of course and shift click on the on the thing and go clip set and now we have it nice and clipped but what I want to also do is hold control D over this metal part once again X out the fill and then I want to make sure that is in front of everything so now as you can see we can go into the nodes and make this a little bit longer and that looks good so now that we have one line I want to make another line so I want to actually do the same thing we did for this other one and come up like here make it thicker and then come over here then I will hold control D over this giant hippo head now I'm going to shift click onto the line go object clip and then set and then lastly I will just use the page down so it doesn't go in front but now as you can see this is looking very good and I'll just adjust this to make it a little bit better but voila we're starting to actually get a good looking thing going for us I'll even make this a little bit this lighting a little bit less but there you go how about making these a little bit thinner I make I may have made them a little bit too thick so I'm going to go around and do this for all the other ones also all right so it's been a little bit and now we have this hippo and it looks cool I have to say but I want to add the nice screws so what I'm going to do is first look at the shape okay I got the shape in my head so now what I want to do is kind of make this hold shift or hold control I'm sorry all the way around and make a nice what can I think of the name now I can't think of the name, but whatever. I'm going to make whatever this shape is that I cannot remember for some reason, and I'll actually adjust these nodes by hold when I'm holding control, and that'll keep it nice and flat and looking awesome. And I'll actually squish these in a little bit so it looks more like a screw. But as you can see, that's starting to actually look like a wonderful screw, so I'm going to X out the stroke as always. And I want to make this fill a dark gray a nice dark gray like that so that's the gray color i'm going for here and what i'm going to do is a cool trick that i learned and it's hold control c and then hover over where i want it and just tap control v and as you can see that'll just copy and paste it and it will paste the screw on and that looks really cool so i'm just going to go along this whole scene here and already voila this looks really really cool that those screws really add a lot to it but there's just another thing i want to do that really really helps to make this look really cool it is actually adding some spikes on the top here so i'm going to draw a triangle like this about that tall and that thick and then i'm going to click on fill and stroke and i want to actually find a good one so like 2.2 maybe that looks good and then what i'm going to do is actually page down this and of course i want to move it to the left a little bit and try to make this look like a really mean looking spike so next what i want to actually do is hold control c over the screw and go control v control v control v and now it looks like it's part of the robotic part then what i want to do is add a little bit of detail and actually draw another one of these lines in here so i will just squiggle through here like that squiggle squiggle then what i want to do is hold control d over this triangle and i'll actually want to x out the fill then shift click on to the stripe and go object clip set and then i want to hold control d x out the fill go page down so it's in back and then make this one go page down so now it's perfectly clipped to there and then i'll maybe even adjust this over so it's on there as you can see that's looking quite awesome as you can see okay what i'm gonna do is shift click all of these and right click and group them so now they're grouped and then i want to shift click the top one and move it to the left like so and then do page down and once again i want to group it again because i didn't actually because there's two strokes there to cover it up and i want to move it down to where the screws are like that and that looks good maybe even i'll i'll size this down a little bit like this and what i want to do is hold control d move it down do page down control d move it down do page down and as you can see this really creates a super 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 cool effect 
where it looks like they are spiked. Maybe even I'll move these screws down just so it looks nice and good, but there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the completed product of the really, really, really cool looking hippo cyborg alien butte butte thing. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do hope you learned something. Let me move this down a little bit. I really do hope you learned something. If you did, then please drop a like and consider subscribing. Please, it would mean a lot to me. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, this has been Owen with Shift Click Learn, of course, and I am out.